Hey, you guys. Next energy is Taurus, Virgo, Sagittarius, Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra. This is the next reading. That reading I just got done with, it was with the other six signs. <coughs> and it's 40 minutes. So I'm going to try to upload this to you guys. I'm going to try to hurry up get these uploaded. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Uh, I appreciate you and thank you very much. And I got a new deck. I'm going to pull out some things in a minute and we'll see what it says. Oh, this man gets around town and spirit was warning you and you steered away from a whole guy for good. So some of you women out here steered away from a whole guy. Uh -huh. <laughs> Oh, and thank y'all for my loyal support and, and new subscribers. I thank you all, and I hope I can give you another good message. And to um, to everybody else, I love you, and I just hope you have a wonderful day today and get something from this reading uh, and from my life experiences in my cards, okay? Thank you, guys. Thank you for your comments and support and all the love you're giving. I appreciate you very much. Oh, looky, you got a twin flame. So maybe you was thinking this man is your twin flame, but it's a whole guy, it's telling you. But it could be saying your twin flame is trying to telepathically speak to you at the moment. And your intuition is leading you to this person because they're unique and, and, and spiritual like you. And they might have went through a Kundalini awakening like you did. This is an intense connection. Your soul recognizes each other. You mirror each other's actions. So maybe you used to hoe around too. Uh, it could be saying the same because you mirror each other. Hang on, it'll tell us the story. Oh no, this twin flame, this person wants you to accept their offer of love. Your twin flame loves you. Spirit, spirit steered you away from a whole guy and your twin flame loves you. That's what it's saying. says remember to not take people for granted that's been in your life through the ups and downs in your life. Don't take that person for granted. And it's saying only you know what is going on inside of yourself. You may have fear to make decisions on your own because you feel like your own input ain't correct so you run to other people for answers and they're already inside yourself. That's what you're doing. You're running away. That's what you're doing. Oh, yeah, spirit with his story. Thank you, spirit. I love you. Uh, this man or woman is or was a third party in your life. This man that gets around town and spirit was warning you and steered you away. They want it to be a third party in your life. What about twin flames? This, this person had to endure incest over and over again because their parents their mom or dad or whoever raised them wouldn't believe them and that's sad because they should have been there for you so maybe your twin flame had to endure incest like if you did that's sad you know it what about this person wants you to accept their offer of love what about that this person wants you to accept their offer i love you spirit i love you uh because this person knows that you're real with everyone that you come into contact with and people admire you for that quality and your twin flame loves you for that and they're telling you you need to get away from that person you're tied to so you can come together with them but uh, if you're not with your twin flame you know and i am oh you're a person that faced many challenges in your life and you'll stand up to a man that's six foot six and tell him to to his face that he better not elf with you or harm you and see, you've, and you've faced the many challenges, and you've been there, and this person's been there to you, with you through your ups and downs. I love you, spirit. I love you. Your twin flame loves you, and he and he knows you've had to get incested. My twin does know it. I love you, spirit. What about this? And uh, this stop running to other people for answers, you know, because. Uh, they wanted to, these people wanted to make you feel like shit, so they was trying to find a way to punish you and and make you feel like shit. 
That's why you quit running to people. Because the answer is inside of yourself. Remember that. Well, that this lands a third party in your life. Spirit steers you away from a whole guy. Oh, 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 oh. This man is a crazy... Whoever this man is, it's a war crazy son of a bitch. He wants to come and harm you. He wants to bring blood by any means necessary. He's seeing red big time. Ooh. It could be your twin flame is a Virgo. Your twin flame is a Virgo, and maybe this Virgo had to endure incest over and over again. And, and uh, th you know, this is a represents service, knowledge, and intelligence. Great communicator because your caring nature helps others in their journey. So, somebody wants to bring blood to you, and and uh, you're you even maybe you saw a UFO around your house. Ooh. I have. I saw a UFO. You're a special person, and this Virgo knows you're a special person. That's what that that's what that was meaning down there. Other than UFO, and uh, and all these challenges, the, they ain't no coincidences in life, and everything happens for a reason. I think you figured that out. You and your person figured that out, and. And this person that's trying to make you feel like shit, uh, or didn't want, uh, they wanted to make you feel like shit when you was going and talking to them about things in your personal life, and, uh, this person was secretly poisoning you because they was wanting to collect the insurance money and your benefits from your death. Oh, did you hear that? Somebody wants to whip your eyes. There ain't no coincidence in life. Maybe that did saying, uh, somebody out here might have got poisoned by this crazy SOB Virgo. Just take the story as it's laying. That's what it says. Don't get mad at me. See, that's what it said. Crazy son of a bitch Virgo thinks that you're crazy because you saw a UFO. There ain't no coincidence in life and those they're poisoning you. Did you hear that? They don't want you to go towards your twin flame maybe. Because they don't want you to do anything for yourself. They only do for them because uh, they suck all your damn energy. Because they suck all your damn energy. I take some uh, oil. What about that? Hang on, you guys. Let's get another story. Let's get another one and see what it says. Maybe your twin flame, both of your signs, is up here right now. <laughs> you know what? Both of your signs is up there right now. Spirit, what are you gonna tell us today? What are you gonna tell us? Oh, and you got a past life soulmate up here. This person that you feel connected to, you feel the built-up energy, and can recognize each other's soul. This person could be your best friend or a friend of me, but these connections are extremely powerful. So, what's this past life soulmate wanting to say? What's the past life soulmate trying to say? What are, what are they trying to say? Stop holding on to this person that doesn't give you any good energy. It's telling you right now. Look. Spirit's telling you not to hold on to that old Pice Life soulmate. They don't really like you. That's what I'm saying. Oh, and, and this older woman is envious of you because you're confident and courageous enough to go after your dreams, and she didn't. Oh, maybe that was a Pice Life karmic soulmate that you had to cut off. And uh, these people wanted you to lose out on any opportunity that's coming to you because they little pussies and they wish they were as smart as a being as you are. That's why they ain't smart like you. They're not courageous. And honey, this man has a damn demonic attachment latched onto him. They're evil. It's by life soulmate and this woman, this older woman that's mad. They're, they got demons attached to them. They're evil. They're evil, baby. It's just about sex. It's place life soulmate. It's only about sex. And uh, you can be married to somebody and they just want you for your sex and everything that you do for them. Y'all know this, right? I mean, that's common sense, right? Or that could be your friend that wanted to just hook up with you. You gotta take the story as it is. What about stop holding on to people that don't give you good energy? Yeah, because uh, you stopped holding on to this group of people that spread lies and tales on you. Only 
only do this to, they did this to boost their own ego, but they need to drop their ego if they wanted to ever grow and stop telling tales. See, I'm trying to teach y'all that. Stop telling tales. And, oh, it's older woman that's is envious of you because you're confident and courageous. She's cried a many tears after, over you since you walked out of their life for good. Now, this is for a man out there. Don't, she's, 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 she's cried over you now. But you're just confident enough to leave her eyes. And these people want you to lose an opportunity. They was serve, they was offering you up on a platter, serve fresh daily. That's what they're doing to your ox. Demon, uh, demon, evil, demonic attachments. They got to go to a preliminary hearing over a case of obsession on you. Ooh, somebody's going to court. That's why I leave my balance coming. I let spirit, don't you? <laughs> All about lust. Oh. I think what it's saying is this person that, that you might be connected to, like right now, like if you're married to this this past life soulmate that you're, you know, a karmic that you're supposed to cut, you're supposed to cut off your energy because they went around and hooked up with this older woman, and and she she is jealous, and they hooked up and you know they did, they hooked up and you know they did, and this person has cried since you don't come around her anymore because she's your friend. And look, sometimes you just need a good cry and let the emotions out, even if it's only to yourself. That's what you're telling this older woman. Well, you just cry on tears, baby, because we don't come back. 11.33, no. We're masters. We don't We don't go around people that fucks us or fucks our old men. No, no. Uh, and now these peeps are wanting to apologize for all their lies that they told on you. They finally want to bring peace, but you still have your guard up around these people. Good. This person can't sleep at night because nightmares from her pies keeps coming in her dreams. Maybe it's latched onto him from his old girlfriends or old women that he slept with and they lie to you about it. Oh, and he can't get out of his mind. All this lust. It's a it's a Virgo, a Taurus, Sagittarius, a Taurus, Gemini, or Libra, whoever the fuck it is, it's up our one of their energies. Oh, and this dude that sexually abused you as a child is going around telling people that you are a liar. <laughs> well, you better be crying your tears of truth out because you're a fucking liar. Demon, demon, demons. Uh, this, the, there's a, a demonic attachment latched on this person that is obsessed with you. And it could be a nurse out here that's obsessed with with one of you men out here and uh, she's addicted to pills and stealing pills off her patients so that's for somebody I don't know who that's for but that's for somebody out here now somebody can concur with me over it I guess and this man was just using you for what you could give him pussy he craves your motherly qualities because he didn't get much attention growing up see he pies life you need to learn to close out cycles with this person what it's saying. You better learn to close out cycles with this person. And you're saying, folks, I'm becoming a better human being and learn how to show up in the world as a healed person. That's what you're trying to teach all these people out here. You just need to cry about these. Let your emotions out about how you got sexually abused, and I did. And uh, they need to learn to apologize for lying on you. That's why they can't sleep at night. And y'all might you might have to go to court with these people that's offering you up on a platter to your ops. They're crying this group of people because they know that they was a uh, that that it, that they was just blabbering shit on your name to boost their self esteem because they didn't have a good self esteem like you. That's all it was because they're lust they're in lust energy. That's why she's envious and jealous. And this man has a demon and her has a demon. They know it. Uh, you just had a good. You got good motherly qualities. That's all it is. That's all it is. You got that. that, that that's all it is. Spirit, can I have uh, four cards? Four cards. Okay. Can I have another card? Okay. Can I have another another card? Spirit, not fourteen. Not fourteen. Spirit, not fourteen. Spirit, cheat now, cheat. Oh, and uh, can we have another one, Spirit? Oh, thank you, thank you. And can we have another one? Oh, thank you, thank you. We love you, thank you, thank you. Oh, that one, that one, okay. 
Okay, now look. Now let me get these cards out here, you guys. Can we have four? Can we have one? Okay. Can we have one under this? Okay. Okay. Can we have one under our moon? Can we have one under our moon, moon, moon? Oh, tanky, tanky. Oh, can we have one on our tower? Can we have one on our tower? Can we? Oh, tanky, tanky. Oh, thank you. Okay, so here's some Virgo energy, and then we got a void. So this was a, a is a positive crisis that you're going through at the moment. There, you had to silently detach from people, places, and things. This is about a rite of passage. You're going through an ascent at the moment. This is about you got the latent capacity to get anything done. You know. Uh, this is about your secrets and, 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 and telling secrets in isolation that you had to self-sacrifice yourself and it was a slow and you might be feeling stagnant at the moment. You, you might be feeling stagnant, this Virgo could. And then it says, void, your soul is ripped from your body and contained in an object. The object in its location is chosen by the divine masculine. You cannot be restored to your body without the object. So this Virgo has did a spell on you. When, or somebody while you was in hermit mode you might have been in hermit mode and these people put a, a spell on you with magic and it says your soul is ripped from your body and contained in an object so maybe it's Virgo's got his soul ripped right out of him and the object in its location is chosen by the DM I'm going to say Divine Masculine when I see it that's what I think it means in this card so uh, you can't this person's body can't be restored without the object and it could be the object of his affections or her affections I don't know just take it as a saying then we have some Venus air energy Aries energy and this is a four of wands and uh, this is about you know your stability uh, you completed out a cycle with maybe a Virgo uh, you well, you're still in stagnation with it. You're still in stagnation. And a rever revenant come out. and This is about resurrect one dead character. One aspect of the personality is permanently changed. So somebody, uh, it could be an Aries that you're tied to. Their personality is permanently changed. Because, uh, you know, like, when you go through a death and a rebirth, like, your, your spirit gets resurrected. You understand? So now, maybe they've changed for the good, you know. Uh, if you haven't saw this person in a while, I don't know. You know, you got to take the story as it says. In Pisces, it says uh, this is the moon, and this is about your receptiveness, uh, your imagination, and using your intuition, and uh, learning the mysteries in life, and you're unveiling the hidden at the moment. This is about your ideals and your subconscious uh, thoughts. You start doing research during your solitude and you found out that it was a lot about madness and a lot about secrets and people being prejudiced. Uh, that's what you found out. And uh, you found out that Seder come out, a Seder. Look, he's got like elf hoof, see? And that says, uh, these cards are weird, but listen, it says your party is transported to a lavish enchanted feast attended by any beings of the divine masculine's choice. While at the feast, characters may not cast spells or draw weapons. So, uh, so, uh, you might be getting ready to go to a party and, uh, somebody wants to uh talk about these secrets and why they're feeling prejudice towards you maybe and your ideals <laughs> and while you're at that feast nobody can cast spells or draw weapons that's what it's saying but then right above that it says you know uh this is the tower this is about openness and uh immersing inside yourself and feeling into what you want you know it's about you might be breaking up with someone at the moment and you're under new construction there's sudden changes coming and um, you could be having some prosperity uh, you got enlightened enlightenment came 
after his tower catastrophe fell and this crisis that you went through it was just an imbalance and you learned how to balance yourself out you gotta let them towers fall anything in your life that you know that you're hanging on to let it fall let, let it let it out that's the only way that you can heal and deal from that you understand that right oh and when you see a comet it might be that you're gonna when this sudden change is gonna happen when a comet comes around maybe you live somewhere where comets come out a lot i do i've seen some here buddies and it says you must single-handedly defeat the next foes you encounter. If you do, you gain a level. That's what it's saying. You gain a level in a spiritual realm, I guess what it's saying. Look at you, got your bow and arrow, and you're like, I'm from another damn planet. Maybe people think you're from another planet, but uh, you're going to gain a level if if you uh, def if you let this tower fall, you're going to defeat all your foes. <laughs> That's crazy, and I like your cards. I'm just learning how to use them because I just got it, but this Virgo, their soul can't be restored to their body without this object because somebody placed a spell on them, and I don't know who this is. I didn't place no spell on nobody with no damn object. I don't know, but that's why it's feeling slow and stagnant at the moment. And uh, that's why... I, their personality has changed. That's why it feels like there's a void at the moment. And like it's just, you know, look at the karmic Fibonacci sequence. See how it's round and round. The karma is that this divine masculine soul has been ripped right out of their body. It's a void from them. And that's why their personality changed. Somebody body snatched them. Are you listening? It's a satyr, a devil worshiper. See these little devil hoofs? And, uh, they transported his his true soul somewhere that they chose. I don't know where that is. They sent their body off in a uh, maybe their soul is maybe Virgo's soul is going to come back in a comet when you defeat these foes and take them to court. That's what I was saying earlier. You might have to uh, go to a preliminary hearing. Remember. That's what it might be saying. That might be the way you get your damn soul back. Ain't that crazy, you guys? I don't know about some things, you know. Here, let me get some more messages. Messages, messages for you guys. take out and it fell off you might already seen these and if you did it's all right don't worry about you guys don't worry about you guys it'll be a different way to read it question i got something over here and i'm gonna let's see it ask the question a yes or no question right now you guys right now because something come out over here oh and it's a yes or no so you better ask a question you better ask a question right now you guys and don't get mad if you guess wrong it'll be okay it's nothing but a thing chicken wing it's nothing but a thing chicken wing oh 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 Let's see what it's saying. Fifteen now. Where it's hard. Where it's hard. Spirit, is that about all I got for you up now? That's a bunch of ones like that. Why did they bleed? Spirit. Spirit's throwing out too many, you guys. Too damn many. Let's see what all this is up here. That's enough. That's all we're doing. That's all we're doing, you guys. I gotta go wake up my son because he wanted up early today. So that's what we're doing, okay? Okay, don't get it, don't get it, don't get it. 
Let me just stick all these on here inside and out, upside down. It don't matter. It don't matter if you does it. Don't Shit, now it don't matter now. You know it don't. Okay, dokey, 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 dokey. It says, sometimes you just got to love them and leave them. Sometimes you just gotta love them and leave them now. Somebody said, it says, I know how to make my own self happy. Oh, maybe somebody's leaving to make their own self happy. Either a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Sagittarius, Virgo, or Taurus, one of you all. I'm gonna move these cards and put them on here out of the way. Okay, you guys. It says, uh, I'm sad that we can't come together. You never know until you have lived it, so don't place judgment on people when you don't know the whole story. They're sad because somebody placed judgment on you and they didn't know your whole story. And it says, somebody's a scared little witch, bitch, and they don't want to say it to your face, Divine Feminine. Oh. They don't want you to know that they're just a love them and leave them type of guy. So, that's not really your twin flame if you're thinking it is out here for somebody. And you know my body inside and out like no other. Yourself makes you happy. You know your own body inside out. Yeah, yeah, I do. Do you all? Okay, good. Oh, and they're sad they can't come together because you're a loyal, dedicated, hard-working woman. And, and your divine masculine sees you as the hardest-working woman now he ever seen in his life now. That's what it just said. And you never know until you lived it. And don't place judgment in. What was your question out here? I'm sorry. It's a no. It's a no. And maybe it needs to be no right now. So don't get mad. Don't get mad. Energy's fluid. It can change day to day. Remember, day to day. Minute to minute. Second to second. All right. Somebody is a porn star wannabe slut out here. Oh, and they're a scared little bitch. So, this is some woman that's just love them and leave them. That's what it means. And you're connected to horses because you used to break them in and train them to be with your Indian tribes. Oh, yeah, I did do that. That's how I know how to, my body inside out. Oh, God. Mother Moon has heard all your cries and wishes and on a full moon say, I stand in my power and I'm a very powerful you need to do this, divine feminine, divine masculine, so y'all can come together. And you need to eat healthy foods. Are you listening? You need to eat healthy foods. And uh oh, and you're about to receive a surprise in your mail box. So go check your mail today. Somebody needs to. And I just got mine in the mail, but today my new cards I just did for y'all. These new cards, I loved them. Oh, and somebody, won let's go shopping, my dear love. Oh. Go shopping for yourself. What makes you happy? This cook, you, this cook, you really wouldn't want to eat his food if you seen what I saw. Ooh. Somebody likes to put nasty in their foods. Hit subscribe with all this info it's given to you. I'll go ahead and hit subscribe, you guys. Because I am telling you some good stuff. And this person is wild as hell. And watch out for this idiot. It's this porn star wanna be slut. She's gonna send you something in the mailbox. Oh, we'll send her something right back. Fear's in the eyes of the beholder. So quit being in fear, women out here, and learn to love yourself and make your own self happy. Sometimes you have to isolate yourself to see all around you what's really going on. Like this man that you wouldn't want to eat his food if you saw him in her scratching his eyes and shit. Oh, and please stop doing dick tricks. Man, and stop looking at my pics and whacking off. I don't want no damn idiots. Oh, people that subscribe to me, do not do that over my pictures because spirit's going to get you. Spirit will, spirit will hurt you. Now, don't do it. No, no, it said don't do it. And it says uh, you are a star and you help heal your own self and your own heart. And that's why this porn star want to be sluts pissed. And they're wild as hell, that woman is. She loves them and leaves them scared little bitch. Wouldn't fight you. She's, she, no, but she wouldn't fight me. Whoever she is, I'm five foot fucking nine. Who wants to fight me? I weigh 210 pounds and I can fight good. <gasps> I'm good. Oh, yeah, I'm good. Oh, and this man is very damn disrespective. Karmic father. This man is very damn disrespective. And you need to leave him and be happy with yourself. Warning, all spells will be returned to sender. Warning, it's going back this this old man that to lied on you, uh, whoever he is. And if you feel love, then it's true love. Divine Masculine loves you. And God walks right beside you, and you have no stress because you're a star. You heal yourself. God give you that power. And Divine Feminine, I'm, I'm wanting to take you to this beautiful mountaintop that has a huge waterfall. Make love you. 
they're out in the wild. Oh, wow. He wants to do that to you, Play Play. And uh, you're somebody that respects other people's boundary because God walks right beside you and his current father that's very disrespectful. He's scared. He's in fear that he's going to go to jail. That's what it means. And you've always been here throughout many lifetimes fighting to keep our love strong. That's what Leo's do. And someone is spying on you and everything that you do online and may have cameras in your house. Oh, somebody that's subscribed to somebody out here might be spying on you. And, you, and you're somebody, you attract beauty into your life and other people see the light in you. And you, you're teaching these people to forgive and move on to your higher vibe self. Yeah, make yourself happy to your higher vibe self. And y'all need to quit messing with the gods and the saints that are coming for your ass as we speak. You're going to prison, you karmic father. It's very disrespectful. You're scared that we're going to tell because uh, you're, you're wanting to be with a poor star, want to be slut. And she's a scared little bitch. And, uh... And uh, you're, you're, you're pissed off because you had to love him and leave this scared little poor star whore. And uh, this person was wild as fuck, and your, and your partner is too. And, and uh, you're getting ready to receive a surprise star because God walks right beside you. And, and you had no stress, and he's going to give you some money in the mailbox because you respect other people's boundaries. He's wanting you to go shopping with that when it comes in the mailbox because you're teaching the people about things that you learned many years ago when you was in an Indian tribe training horses and you know how to attract beauty and you attract beauty into your life and other people see your light in you because because you tell people to forgive and move on to your higher vibe self and you know your body inside and out and you know how to make your own self happy and Leo if you got a past over Leo they love you and they're fighting to keep your love strong with your divine masculine and warning all spells are returned to you divine masculine and divine feminine is going to go on a vacation to a big huge waterfall and they're going to isolate yourself and divine feminine is going to cook you anything that you want divine masculine and, and these people that spies on us they won't be able to spy anymore because mother moon's going to has heard all your cries and they're going to hide you away from all these people because you're all both loyal dedicated and hard-working people and uh and uh you're not going to be sad anymore because you're all going to come together. Did you hear my story? And uh, if you feel love, then it's true love. Are you listening? And uh, these people that does dick, dick tricks and they whack off to your pictures, they're idiots. And uh, no, they will not prevail in their life spirit. Said no, you will not prevail. And, uh, you, and the spirit loves you for telling people to eat healthy foods. And, and you never know until you have lived it. So don't place judgment on people when you don't know the whole story of their lives. You can't do that. Hit subscribe for all this info that I just give you because it was good. It was a good message. I think it was. I think so. I t -t -t think it was. I think so, you guys. Okay. Spirit, what is it that? What is it, twin flame? What do we don't want to know with one of these cards? You, uh, you need to go beyond illusion and change your perception. You got to change your mind about something. That's what it's saying. You got to look at it from a new point of view to understand if it's a real illusion because you need to uh, remember that you're wanting to go home. Take me home. This is by way of true love. Change your mind about whoever this is that you thought wasn't for you. They are. You better change your mind on cause this is the pathway to love, baby. And and you're letting your light shine, your hormone you're harmonizing at the moment. The car that's why you see nines a lot. You see eleven, eleven and nine 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 and sixes a lot. Because you're a chosen one. You're on a fast track to ascension, yeah. And I am a chosen one. I've had so much bad shit happen to me, that's why God placed me here on my ass so I can tell y'all. I can tell y'all about Hitman, I've lived through it. I've lived through a uh, spirit war. My mom warned me, or I would have been shot when I was 17 year old if I was that old. And it would have blowed a hole through my back that big, probably, with that big old gun. Yeah, you're a chosen one, and spirit knows it. Spirit knows that you're a chosen one, bye bye. Now, let me read this little message to you all. What is it that spirit wouldn't tell us? 
What is it, man? Give us a healthy seal cards. What is it? What is it? What is it? What is it? I don't know, you guys, but I'm going to tell us why here in a second. What is it? What we need to know? What about change your perception? Change your perception. What else? What else? Oh, thank you. Change your perception. You come a long way. And maybe you're getting ready to have a little child. Oh, it said you are. You you changed your mind. You're wanting this. You come a long way on this spirituality. This rich, good gentleman is wanting to meet up with you and have a baby with you. And take me home, Pathway to True Love. Yeah, what well, about take me home, Pathway to True Love? Take me home, Pathway to True Love. Spirit. Take me home, Pathway to True Love. Spirit. Take me home, Pathway to True Love. Spirit. I love you, Spirit. I love you so much. Oh, because look, you've learned that True Love brings you great happiness, and the stars is with you. Your hope for all star. This is about, you know, you're, you're, you're just happy and uh, you've gained clarity about something. You look to the stars for signs and you know about what true love is and you're, you're studying at the moment and, and you're going to be a star in your writings and you need to go outside in the garden today. Star. Uh, what about harmonia? harmonize? Oh, let your light shine. You're letting your light shine. You're telling these people about these thieves around, these thieves. These thieves, you're getting ready to receive a pleasant letter. Somebody's going to tell you that they know who stole from you. Oh, it come to light, these thieves, it come to light that it's somebody that you work with. That's what, you know, this is about your career. Uh, you know, this is about your wealth. This is about your job. You're going to receive a letter in your job. It come to light, this person can't steal from you. You're chosen one. Chosen one, least. About chosen one. Chosen one. Oh, I love you, spirit. Anything else for chosen one? A good one. A good one for chosen one. Oh, oh, that's what it is. Oh, okay. And chosen ones. Here's what's happening for you. You're getting ready to uh, see some lilies, uh, because you're being seen as someone very peaceful and harmonious and and content. And you're an elder in the community. You got a lot of wisdom and strength, and you know just a lot of happy thoughts, and and, and that's. And uh, you're getting ready to receive some unexpected income from seeds that you sown in the past. And the angels has blessed it to you. See the angel flying above up here? See the angel? And the angel bless you with it. And they're going to bring you flowers. And you're going to get a proposal. The ring. You're going, this is about an agreement, uh, a proposal, a partnership. Maybe you're getting a partnership in your work occupation. Oh, or you and your partners get ready to come together because you're all chosen ones. And you're going to live a harmonious true love life that's what it said and i love you guys and i hope it helped y'all today because that was a good story did you like how i did that go ahead and hit like and hit subscribe like that said hit subscribe for all that free info i'll give y'all in peace i love you and i'll go get off here and take a shower and wash wash and uh i got lost at the peace i love you guys peace says i love you guys